Hey, Bubs. I'm sorry for taking a while to write you back. Guess I've been a little busy lately, is all. Nonetheless, I hope this letter finds you well and at a good time, as always. It's hard to believe it's almost been two years. Time really moves fast, huh? How are you doing, little brother? How's mom and dad? I can only imagine how beautiful the new place is for you guys. I think about y'all a lot. I still have dad's old projector. I often watch our old films. My favorite is our day at the park. It's nice being able to relive these moments and reminisce over the times we had together. I'm sure you're aware of what's going on in this crazy world with the pandemic, the riots, the lockdowns, the mask mandates, the vaccines, plagues, you name it. Not to mention the vaccinated versus the unvaccinated. They think all of us are so stupid, but not all of us are so easily brainwashed. I believe a lot of people are failing to see what's actually going on in this generation. So many seem troubled, lost. I really wish I could be there with you guys. A particular verse stood out to me recently in the book of Matthew. Chapter 24, verses 6 through 8. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. What seemed normal before seems so far from reach now. I'm always thinking of you, little brother. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I love you. Sincerely, Grace. Father, you go before us. You are the God of our past and our present. By your hand, we were all created for unique purposes to be realized in the days of our lives on this earth. The end times can be a scary place to exist. There are many who fight the truth, speak against the truth, and oppress those who believe in and stand for the truth. Increase our ability to discern falsities. I pray that you protect all people from the evil forces of this world bent on deceiving, lying, and destroying your people. Help us to not look into the future with our human eyes, but rather our eyes of faith, for we live by faith, not by sight. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Father, as we endure these last days, this last hour, help us to spread your gospel that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to you except through him. Help us to be your vessel to bring your children home. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Father God, hear our cries as we call out to you. Amen. <laughs>